Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part nine of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, I'm gonna show you how to record your acoustic guitar into Audacity. We're gonna cover how to record with a mic and without a mic, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to get the best sound out of both. So there are two main ways of recording acoustic guitar at home. You've got the DI or direct input method and the mic'd method. The mic'd method is where you'll be pointing a microphone at your guitar and recording into Audacity. And the DI method is where you're plugging the guitar directly into your computer via a DI box and audio interface. Using a mic, you're gonna get much more of the natural room sound, ambience, the, the, the natural playing sounds. Um, the DI method, you're not gonna be getting any of that, it's just gonna be the electrical signal that your guitar's picking up. Now you're gonna get a more professional sound using a microphone, but if your room isn't set up very well, if it doesn't sound great, um, or if you're if you're recording somewhere that's kind of noisy, then you can consider using DI and you can get some pretty workable results with it. Before we start recording, the most important thing is getting the guitar sounding right. There's, you could have the best mics, best equipment in the world, the best recording techniques, but if your guitar doesn't sound great, then your recording isn't going to either. So I'm gonna show you a little clip of where I'm setting up an acoustic guitar, just going through some of the things that you, you need to consider before you start recording. Then we'll get back into it and look at recording some DI guitar first and then use a mic. So first you wanna make sure your strings are sounding fresh. The strings are what, you're, what the pickup's picking up ultimately. So if they don't sound too good, then you're not gonna get a good recording. And we don't wanna get into fixing it in the mix sort of territory. We wanna record as though there's no mixing. Of course, you wanna make sure your guitar's nice and in tune as well. Nothing ruins a good guitar recording than a slightly out of tune string. Some guitars may have some onboard EQ options. For example, on this uh, Ibanez guitar, I've got a, a tone shaper and a treble, a middle and a bass knob. So we're gonna play around with those and see what gives us the best, most kind of rich balanced sound. Whether or not you're using a pick really affects the sound as well. Uh, it's gonna sound a lot more brighter and you'll hear that kind of plasticky sound of the pick on the strings getting picked up by the DI. So it really depends on what sound you're going for there, but it, again, you can try recording both and see which you prefer. Now you've got your guitar sounding the best that it can, let's talk about direct input. So to set up with DI, it's easy, but you're gonna need a couple of things. You're gonna need your audio interface, which should be installed and set up uh, in Audacity. If you haven't done that already, I'll leave a link on the screen and now where you can find out how to do that. And you're also gonna need one of these DI boxes, like I've got here. I've got the Behringer Ultra DI here. Um, really great budget DI box. All you need to do is plug the output of your guitar into the DI box, into the DI in, and then the DI output goes back into your audio interface. You might have an XLR port, you might just have a jack. Either one will work. You can plug the guitar directly into the audio interface, but what the DI box does is helps to avoid any sig signal degradation over the length of the cable. It balances the signal. It, it's worth investing in if DI guitar recording is something you're gonna be doing long-term. I've got the phantom power on on my audio interface as well because the DI box doesn't have a battery and it needs power to work. Um, so if, you're, if your audio interface doesn't have phantom power, it should do really. Um, but if it doesn't, then your DI box, might you might be able to power it with a battery. Now that's all plugged in and set up, I'm gonna show you how to set up using a microphone. Then we're gonna go into the Audacity session and I'll show you how to do the actual recording. The process in Audacity is the same, um, whichever recording method you're using. So that's why I'm gonna leave that till the end. Now I'm set up with a microphone instead. So I've got a condenser microphone um, plugged with an XLR cable directly into the audio interface. So I've got phantom power turned on, which is needed for condenser microphones. Um, if you're using a USB microphone, then you'll be obviously plugging into straight into a USB port uh, and that'll be powered via the USB cable. Now for the mic'd method, especially if you're using a condensed microphone over a dynamic microphone, the room sound is important. The natural ambience, the reverb of the room, it's gonna be picked up by the microphone. So if you've got plenty of soft furnishings in the room, um, especially in front of and behind the microphone, that's gonna give you a better quality recording. So I'm just pointing about two hands away, um, or about a foot away, 
um, pointing between the 12th fret and the sound hole. That's a good starting point uh, for your mic positioning, but we're going to be listening back after recording into Audacity, uh, having a listen and seeing if any positioning changes need to be made. So now let's head over to the session. I'm going to show you what settings you need to, to use, what to look out for, and we're going to get some acoustic guitar recorded. So here we are in the Audacity session. I've got my, my acoustic guitar mic'd up. Um, the process of recording it is largely the same whether you're using the microphone or DI. Um, but I, there are a couple of things to look out for depending on which you're using, so I'll cover both of those. So by now you should have your audio interface all set up, uh, installed and set up in Audacity. If not, in, in part five I'll go over how to set it up in Audacity, I'll leave it a link on the screen now. But just a quick overview, you want to be looking in your device toolbar here and making sure your audio interface is set for both the input and the output. So I'm using a, a, a Focusrite Scarlet interface, so I've got the line in set to Scarlet and the line out set to the Scarlet as well. And then we're recording in mono just with the one microphone or the one DI input. And now we want to set the levels correctly for the recording. So if you play your acoustic guitar as loud as you're gonna be playing for whatever you're performing, you don't want the clipping light coming on on your interface. It, most interfaces will have a light um, that will flash when, when it's near the zero dB mark, which is where you're gonna be getting this horrible digital distortion that you don't want. So play the piece that you're gonna be recording uh, and at its loudest point, you don't want the interface to be clipping at all. And then the same goes for Audacity. So check your meter toolbar. If we click on, on the recording level to monitor it, I, could, I mean, this is obviously just my voice, but you can see the meter bouncing up and down. If I play a little bit of guitar, see it's peaking at around minus 4 dB which is a little bit close to to that 0 dB mark so if you just adjust the level um, on on your interface the input gain don't worry about it being too quiet um, you can always turn it up after it's much safer to record a little bit quieter and then turn it up rather than recording too loud and, and peaking by mistake. But I will stress to play whatever you're gonna be recording. Don't just play a few random chords like I did. You wanna make sure that whatever you're playing is not gonna be peaking the signal. Now let's make a test recording. All you need to do is click on the record button in your transport bar, or you can use the R key, which is a lot quicker. Just hit R and it will start recording onto a new track. So there we go, I've taken a recording and now you can just hit hit the space bar to listen back to it. Okay, so that's a good level, it's a nice sounding recording. Um, at this point, you'd wanna make a few changes if it didn't sound quite right. So when you're recording with your microphone, if it's sounding a bit too bassy, you might wanna point the mic a little bit away from the sound hole or a little bit further back. Um, if it's sounding too roomy, picking up a lot of room sound, you might want to bring the mic closer to the guitar and turn it down a little bit, uh, and so on. And then, and then likewise, if you're recording with DI and it's sounding a bit too too bassy or, or tinny, you can adjust the, any onboard EQ that you have on the guitar if you have it. And then if you want to quickly overdub, record another track over. Um, the first one, if you hold the shift key, and, and hit the record button, it, it changes it to record new track. So, uh, or, or you can hold shift and press R. And then it will drop you in on a brand new track wherever the cursor is so you can play over your previous recording. And then for editing and mixing and exporting, everything else you need to do with your audio, we're we'll be covering that in, in later parts of the course. Now you've got your acoustic guitar recorded, don't forget to save. In the next video, we're gonna be going over how to record vocals to a backing track. If you're following along with this course, there are two more recording videos to go and then we're gonna be moving on to editing. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when they're released. Leave a like if this video helped you and let me know in the comments section below, how are you recording your acoustic guitar? With a mic or with DI? And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 10.